uh, needs us to solve for acceleration on a, on a, how to uh, solve the acceleration we need to relate yeah linear acceleration into angular acceleration so we have already discussed this equation so angular acceleration is related through its uh, radius now uh, from that we can substitute a or directly solve using this one and then from that we can now solve for b that's our target first is to solve for a and then as after we solve for a using these equations uh, it is uh, uh, directly we can substitute uh, values for zero and then a we now solve for the uh, what is unknown which is the speed now solving for acceleration using the following equations uh, the best uh, equation to use is actually the first one the first one has been used since no, uh, it has given no uh, we can directly use a here so there is a point that uh, as you can see although uh, it requires uh, a here and then a here um, this first equation is much simpler to manipulate no uh, uh, however the prerequisite is that you should uh, know the moment of inertia of this uh, pulley. This, no? So we have introduced that one while, um, on our past le lessons. So basically, on our uh, how to solve that one using moments, a prerequisite is to solve first for the moment, uh, moment of inertia. So how do we arrive at this equation? One half uh, mk squared. So how can how do we arrive at that one? So this equation has been already derived and been introduced in this presentation. So on our uh, presentation or lectures or lecture pertaining this one, no equations of motion, rotation about a fixed axis, you have introduced about rotational uh, inertia. So as you can see based on the image, so uh, most likely. Uh, <coughs> Uh, image for that is here is this one half mr squared it is a solid cylinder or a disc symmetry axis so uh, so this description describes a pulley so therefore use i or moment of inertia one half mr squared one half mr squared r is this radius m is the mass since as we have said Pounds is already incorporated with gravity. Divide that one with gravity for English units, which, which is 32.2, uh, to know the mass of the uh, pulley itself. No? And then one half mr squared, that signifies the following value. So as you can see, that we will arrive at slug multiplied by feet squared. So feet squared is here. 0.75 and then slug is uh, equivalent to the mass as you can already as, as you have already known no? so slug the mass and that is on the si system kilograms gravity 9.8 32.2 newtons and then pounds uh, next one is uh, that explains the solution for uh, on the on our free body diagram so uh, uh, this step is actually necessary in order for us to directly solve for the value of A. So take note that our main goal in this problem is to solve the value of A. So that we can substitute A and then solve for the speed already. Substituting IO first, then utilizing this relationship no, from this alpha. So you can see that when you substitute that one, it will yield the following. However, we need to uh, analyze first the left side of the equation. Summation of moment at point O. No? So analyze this on the left side. So what are the forces involved? One, two, three, four, and five. So what are the uh, necessary or the uh, required forces to be solved using summation of moment? So we have said all of the forces that directs its um, direction of force on the axis 
of the moment itself uh, cannot be considered. So, 3 pounds, can cancel, cancel, and then OY, and then OX also. So, the remaining is 5 pounds and then 10 pounds. So, let's just analyze this one. Uh, based on the sign convention that we chose, again, we chose the sign convention for the movement of the object or the system, which is in this direction. So, clockwise direction. So, considering this, how can we uh, solve for negative 5? Uh, sorry. I have changed the values. No? So let us verify this uh, later on. So that will uh, be, should be uh, sorry. negative 5. Ah, correct. So continuing, uh, the value is negative 5. As you can see, this is the moment arm. And then this is the direction. So our assumption is going here. So that is against this five pounds. So negative five pounds. It's a uh, distance moment arm is 0 0.75. Let's explain this one. And then uh, take note for another, for the last possible force with respect to the moment plus 10 pounds and then the distance of 0.75. Now let us focus our attention here now on the right side of the equation. Equals uh, 0 0.02620. Uh, multiplied by E multiplied over 0.75. So how will we arrive at this uh, term? So we arrive at this term due to this. No? So take note for the following equation. A sub O, what uh, we have so already IO. IO is 0 0.0262. Uh, Alpha or the angular acceleration is related into A over R. So A over R is explains this. Yeah. A over R, so R is 0.75. So that explains this equation. So however, this, as you can see, yeah, this term is actually not on our equation. Since yeah, it is already on the equation for uh, translation. So meaning, it is a combination of rotation and then translation. So this translation, uh, transla um, equations of motions translation is uh, uh, related. No? So uh, basically, we will be just adding the factor here multiplied by the uh, distance no? for the moment itself. So as you can as you can uh, remember, uh, this M A is the principle in translation. Uh, this one, no. So as you can see, a uh, principle for translation is here. So negative the uh, M tap and then A, and then the distance for the moments. So uh, this example is a combination for as we have said a combination for uh, rotation and then uh, translation. So basically, this is the M and then this is the moment arm. Uh, I'm sorry. This is the force. MA is the force of this and then the moment arm. So basically, add that one and then uh, add another since they have the same direction as stated here. So 10, 5, and then solve for the value of A using your algebra concept, no? or you may use MATLAB no, function for solve no, to arrive at A. Yes, uh, explore that one and then confirm that our value for A is equivalent to 9.758 uh, uh, feet per second. So uh, the tricky part here uh, lies on the conversions and then another one is the addition for translation. Since as you can see, uh, based on this, uh, it is the rotation, and then translation is from one point to another point, no parallel. No, we have learned that already. So from this point up to this point, translation. This point up to this point, translation. So this one is also uh, is only rotation. So next step, uh, we now know the value of a. So as we have said, just substitute no? the value on our main equation, which is on the linear. Uh, dimensions. 
No? So, zero represent from rest. Acceleration, we have solved that already. 0.8 seconds. That yields to 7.81 feet per second. For our next uh, supplementary problem, uh, we are asked to find the angular acceleration of this 90 kilogram beam. Uh, we are asked to uh, treat the beam as a uniform slender uh, rod. So, for example, the cord at B has been uh, has failed. So basically, it will twist. So if this is failed, it will twist on this direction clockwise direction. So how can we find for the angular acceleration? Again, first step is to draw the free body diagram. So drawing the free body diagram, so one, uh, 800 and uh, 90 multiplied by 9.81, no, since it is on the, on the mast. So uh, next, 2 meters, 2 meters, etc. So kindly consider again the concept of moment of inertia. Then the three equations. So uh, this one has been utilized due to this. No? So again, go back to our concept on, rota on uh, equations of motion rotation about a fixed axis. We will uh, review about uh, rotational inertia he here. So there is a formula. No? So as if you will uh, examine our free body diagram, this is a slender lad. So rad about an end. So the axis of rotation is about an end. For example, this has been uh, this has been cut. So the axis of rotation is about the end. So therefore, you will utilize this equation. I is equivalent to 1 over 3 ml squared. So that's why I have introduced uh, 1 half, uh, 1 third ml squared here. And then another concept, since uh, initially, uh, the velocity is equivalent to zero. That explains here. Now, so substituting omega, this is our common uh, equation for linear, translation from linear into angular. So omega squared r for normal component of acceleration. Uh, substitute omega here equates to zero. And then substitute uh, uh, the value of r here equates to e2. That explains this free body diagram. So uh, next concept is to uh, find the summation of moments. So we have just changed the subscript from O since uh, based on our diagram, it is A. So we have just changed the subscript from uh, uh, O to A since we will be uh, have a moment at point A. So as you can see here. And then uh, we follow again the direction of motion based on the rotation as clockwise direction. Now to solve first for the uh, moment uh, equation or the moment of inertia, this has been uh, said in this problem. No? So it is advisable for you to memorize at least uh, this one, this one, and then the solids. No? And then uh, uh, this one. No, it's been already solved for the pulley. No, similarly for this. Uh, since it is common, no, common a uh, common equation for inertias. So basically, let's continue. So slender, uh, slender rod solving for the moment of inertia is forty uh, for uh, hundred eighty kilogram meter square. Now substitute that one here, then solve for the moment of uh, summation of moments at a first. Now let us consider. Uh, first, the left side of the equation. So at point A, consider that one, point A. So direction is clockwise. Moment arm is 4, 2 plus 2. And then uh, the force, twisting force is 800. Plus this one, force 90 times 9.81 multiplied by, that, by 2. Yeah. Next, that is equivalent to IA. 480 multiplied by the angular acceleration. So therefore, the angular acceleration now is equivalent to 10.35 regions per second squared. Next uh, problem is uh, related again to our previous problem. We're in uh, there is a problem that uh, we need to solve for the reaction, the vertical reaction at point 
A. No, at point A. Basically, here is our free body diagram. So again, in our initial assumption is that our vertical component at A is going downward. So again, if for example, on our solution process, if we tend to have a mistakenly assign it upward, it, our answer should be negative. And then we, that negative sign would dictate a correct answer. For example, here, initially, our solution is that our reaction is going downward. Going downward. So basically, from this assumption, uh, it uh, depending on our answer, it is either correct or uh, wrong. So let us continue. No? So solving for the vertical component of acceleration, uh, just reviewing again the formulas. No? So from this, our main equation that we can use is for the tangential. Since the tangential uh, dictates the uh, movement of the uh, of the rod itself, no, as shown on this free body diagram. Again, as you can see, uh, let us just uh, focus our attention here. The rotation of this object is from here, no, so straight line. It will tend to rotate here. So as we have said, the normal component is always pointing toward, no, toward, toward the center. So as you can see, it is reflected on this direction. So toward the center. And then tangential is based on the direction of the, uh, of the rotation. Uh, based from this one, since the direction is uh, clockwise, therefore tangential is downward. That explains this one. Also, that explains also why we assume that our vertical component is downward also. We, will, uh, we can see... Uh, later on, if our assumption that it is correct. So next, uh, continuing with the solution. So substituting the values of the uh, summation of forces along the tangential. No? Onward, 800. Then 90. You can see that directly pointing that toward is equivalent to M. 90 multiplied by A, no, alpha, tapos, uh, alpha and then RG. No? So how can we deduce that one? No, RG is 2. So how, how, can we, how did we find 2? How did we find 2 here? So it, uh, this one explains uh, that concept. So basically, initially, no? so initially, there is a point uh, initially uh, om uh, omega or the angular velocity is zero since it is not yet cut. So look for these two explains the location for the radius when it is not yet cut. Basically, it is on the center of gravity. So this rad has a center of gravity at the center. No? So, what is the radius if this is the center of gravity? Is 2. So, that explains uh, the numerical value for 2. So, uh, and also, no, as you can see, initial reaction. So, therefore, we will consider the initial reaction, not 4. So, it should be 2. Uh, next one, acceleration is 10.35 rg. Explains also at the center of gravity initially. So initially it is at center of gravity, so explains two. So solving for eighty is one hundred eighty point one newton. So our assumption going downward and then following the direction based on the tangential is correct. 